I learned how to accelerate time in Minecraft, and this is how I did it. So this is Minecraft. I start by making a beautiful brand new world that I know that I'm inevitably going to destroy. So I'm going to start this out by saying I am not very good at using command blocks, so obviously the first step to doing this is getting a command block. This is where I start to kind of mess around using the command block, and I put in the keyword time, you know, just to see if there's an actual command for that. And lucky for me, there was. So I set my repeating command block to no need for redstone and always active, and I watched time begin to accelerate. Hold on, did you actually think the video was over? We are just getting started, because we all know a Minecraft video is not over until you've tortured an entire village. After finding a village that's sufficient enough to torture, I create a small underground contraption that I activate and wait for the results. And I had to say, I was really impressed. For this first test, it seemed to work really well. But I knew it wasn't enough. Not yet, at least. No, this needed to be much, much faster. And so, the true process of my experiments began. My second test was really peculiar. It seemed to be even slower than the first, despite my changes with the command blocks. And so, I went down underground and investigated the wiring I'd done, and I fixed the one error that I found. And so, I began my third test, and I had to say, this was definitely a step in the right direction. But like I said before, not fast enough. Tracing my steps backward, I decided it was time for a new approach. All of the command blocks I had set before were to add five ticks, but I decided to switch them all to one. It may have seemed like a step backward, but truly it wasn't. What it really was, was a step forward because I was planning to add many more command blocks. I readied this batch's final command blocks for the experiment. Once I was done, I patched up the hole and I flipped the switch. But that's when I realized it had somehow gotten even slower than before. This only meant more fixing and more experimenting. Using the slash fill command, I created a massive area underground where I would build the largest part of my machine yet. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not good at command blocks or redstone in general. So I had to rely on some uh, alternate sources to learn what I was doing. Which is why I'd like to thank fellow YouTuber Dodless for posting this video because without that this likely would not have been possible because I would have lost my mind if I had gone through and placed all those command blocks myself. Speaking of losing my mind, when I did end up finally placing the structure, this happened. So this meant good news and bad news. Good news, it worked, and I wouldn't have to place all the command blocks by myself. Bad news, I'd have to replace all the redstone by myself. Yay! But with that, all the preparations were in place, and I was ready for the final experiment. Okay, I will be completely honest, this is when I realized I'd run into a bit of an issue. Yes, time was going very, very, very fast, but Minecraft could not register it all at once. So instead of adding one tick at a time, it started adding them all at once, making the time speeding up look a little bit choppy, and make the footage look extremely laggy. And I know you might be saying, 
hey, maybe it'll work if you turn off those damn shaders. To that I say, instead of turning off shaders, I went down to the light version. And then I turned off all shaders. Nothing made it better. And I gotta say, that kinda fucking sucks. Because that meant that the three hours I spent recording were worthless, and the original five hours I spent editing were worthless, and the current three hours I spent editing until 2.30 in the morning were also worthless. Oh, and by the way, that's three hours and counting. Because now I'm deciding to right my wrongs and give you the content that you actually came here for. Because now, I'm going to actually accelerate time. I used a design by a YouTuber named AZ4MA to recreate this effect in Minecraft. Unfortunately, it had to be in Minecraft Bedrock, otherwise it would not have worked. So, sincerest apologies to all you Java purists out there, but soon you will see why this had to be done. For this design, you only need four things. A repeating command block, redstone dust, a redstone repeater, and a lever. I located a village, and I created my machine. Originally, the design was 400, then 1,000, then 30,000. But I decided to add my own spin on it, adding 200, 100, and 10. Each of these are spaced out by several repeaters. Meaning, I seriously overthought the process. Honestly, I just want to get this done so I can go to bed. My dog's been growling at me, and I am so fucking tired. It is 3.21 in the morning. Let's just accelerate time so I can go to sleep. So yeah, that is the story of how I accelerated time in Minecraft. Now it's time for me to sleep. But I do kinda have to make that 10 minute mark. Uh, how am I gonna do this? How do I draw out the video? How do I draw out the video? I don't have a sponsor. I can't draw out the video. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have an idea. I'm just gonna give you guys a version of Maiden Heaven in Minecraft without the 30,000 time. I'm too tired for this shit. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video because this is the last you're hearing of my voice until my stream tomorrow. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I would also like to mention that the two renditions of Poochie's theme that I played in this video are owned by Samuel Kim and DJ Miletus, respectively. I will link their stuff down below, please go follow them, they are both amazing.